Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. There's a lot of times Rubik's Cubes have been in TV shows and movies, so let's take a look at them and see what they're like. So first we've got Snowden. I remember seeing the trailer for this, I never saw the movie, but I know what the clip, or I know part of it. So let, let's take a look at this. So that's the actual Rubik's Speed Cube. Here, we're gonna pause that for a second. So that's the, the newer model speed cube they made that you can open up this center. So yeah, you should still be able to use the puzzle even with that, the um, micro SD card in there. So you gotta start with the white cross actually and then you do the corners. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, the white cross in the corners. Yeah, that's, that's how most people start where you, you get a, uh, well, they're not exactly in the right spot, but the white cross and then you, you add in the corners and then you can go up from there. I've got a tutorial on that. He didn't watch my tutorial. Nice. So nothing is fake there as far as the cube they use. That's the actual Rubik's brand. Um, that one came out probably about five or six years ago. So I believe this is much older than that. Let me, let me look that up real quick. 2013. Oh, that's right at that timeline. So if he had an original Rubik's brand that was not the tiled one, because these came out like five years ago, you can take those caps off, but it's, it's much more difficult. So it's, it's more durable, but yeah, I don't think they use this model of that. Okay, Pursuit of Happiness. Oh, yeah. oh. Wow, you, you uh, really messed it up. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh. I've, I've heard he actually did learn how to solve it, but um, this is one thing I just find really funny. A lot of people, when I give them a cube, they try to really mix it up. But even though there's over 43 quintillion different ways of mixing up the Rubik's Cube, every single one of those could be solved in 20 moves or less. Now, humans usually don't solve it in 20 moves. 60 on average. Um, if you're relatively efficient. See, that's all I ever do. White cross, there's the white cross right there. Now you can do a cross in any color. You should practice doing that if you are learning. Now he's doing the corners. And he's probably doing the second layer, I can't tell. Oh, oh you almost had that one. <laughs> oh, I get that a lot too, where people watch me solve and it, they they think you have to do one thing or they see a color and they're like, oh, you almost had it. There was, actually, let me uh, let me fix this real quick. So they'll see something like this and it'll look like, you know, it's, it's almost, almost solved. And it is, I just have to finish the corners. But by doing that, I kind of have to mess up some other things. And so often when I'm doing this, I hear someone say, oh, you almost had it. And then it's solved. Okay, now he's twisting the corners on the top layer. Edges, that's a U permutation. F2, U prime. All right, yep. The exact algorithm he just did there. Um, I forgot which side it was. F2, U prime. That. I'll have to do it two more times the exact same way, but. Yeah, so it's, the algorithms are correct enough to where he's actually doing what a lot of people know, a lot of people learn when they start out. Okay, that was nice, I like that. Simpsons, what do we have at the Simpsons? Why don't we do something to take our minds off the storm? Ooh, a Rubik's Cube. Let's all work it together. Okay, start with diagonal colors. Use your main finger on the yellow side and your other finger on the orange side and turn it. My main finger? Orange, no, no, orange. you gotta yes, start backwards. Alternate corners. Get the two red. One at a time. Spin the middle side topwise. Topwise. <laughs> now I remember why I put this down there in the first place. <laughs> that reminds me whenever uh, I'll be showing someone something or maybe they'll try showing me and they'll they'll sometimes point and say turn that or D turn that so luckily we have more letter algorithms we could say r prime u l but 
That was good. This is a really short clip that I think there's a lot of gifs of. It's gifs, not gifs. That sonata may not be a Glenn Gould performance, but I must say it's good as Gould. <laughs> I think I was laughing also more at the, the Glenn Gould. I'm working on a Masters of Music right now, so that's that's hilarious to me. But now this is not realistic. Besides the point, it's a cartoon. Um, I said earlier there's 43 quintillion possible ways of mixing up the puzzle, and every single one can be solved in 20 moves or less. So some of them you need to do 20 moves to solve it. On average, you might have more like 16 or 17. Um, but that's, again, if a computer does it. So we're going to assume Homer is as smart as the best computer and he can analyze the puzzle and do the fewest amount of moves. Well, the fact that he's doing like four moves each time uh, or so, whatever, that looks like he's doing two sides of the same. But that's usually not going to happen unless he's cheating a little bit and scrambling them. So they're four moves. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any other other clips or things you think I should check out, leave them in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedqbview.com for my news and reviews.